Here we go. The intense playoff battle between your Kings and the Warriors, Golden One Center, last night. From Doco to Del Paso, Kings fans gathering across the region, watching last night's game, hoping the Kings could win it again over the Warriors. Here's a watch party we found on Del Paso Boulevard, proceeds helping to uh, revitalize Phantom Galleries, a place giving local artists a location to thrive. And we can't stop saying enough about what the Kings did last night. The Warriors are a seasoned bunch. They've won right. four championships in the Steph Curry area, uh, in the uh, Steph Curry era. And this was a big game, too, for both teams last night. Mm -hmm. They worked hard. So downtown Commons was a wave of purple, as you've heard us say many times. ABC 10's Bridget Biorlo joining us now from outside of Golden One this morning. Bridget, how did fans celebrate? Fans, as you can imagine, Bria, are just ecstatic. And the shifts of the chants have changed from light the beam to kings in four. Fans really believe a sweep of the playoff round one can be done, even as Sacramento takes the fight on the road to San Francisco to take on, once again, who is the defending champions in the Golden State Warriors. You can bet that inside Golden One Center, it was just deafening in there with the cheering, the applause, and oh yeah, the cowbells as well. But it was enough to push the Kings through to a commanding lead, 114 to 106 was final score for round two. And keep in mind, the Golden State Warriors have been favored to win all of these games. So it was once again an upset for the Kings and fans are relishing. They are loving the fact that they are proving all of these pundits wrong and what is becoming a true underdog Cinderella story in the Kings' success after what has been a 16 season playoff drought. They're finally here after 17 years and the fans are getting a lot of credit in making this happen. Take a listen. Time went on, there would have been an obvious void and it really would have hurt Sacramento. All the jobs, not only that the stadium created, but I would definitely say there's a new culture within Sacramento. Kings were just about sold to Seattle and it took a heroic community effort led by the former mayor, led by the business community, uh, led by the state, led by the fans and the fan base to say, no way are you taking our team. No way are you taking our team. And keep in mind, that happened less than 10 years ago when the Kings were almost sold to Seattle. And it was a combined effort from the loyal fan base, former Sacramento Mayor Kevin Johnson, the former NBA Commissioner David Stern, who all together rallied and fought hard to keep the Kings right here in Sacramento. If they never did that, we would never have Golden One Center and the many jobs that have come with it. So everyone is reflecting on that moment, this milestone celebratory experience and how well the Kings are doing but the big question is can they keep the momentum going as they take on the Warriors away it's going to be a lot tougher out there a lot of fans are already planning their trips out to Chase Center so we'll see if they can do it Bria. Yeah Golden Line is such a big part of our area Bridget and then you just think you love a good underdog story we showed them we deserve to have that beautiful arena so talking about game three Tickets were super expensive. The price is a little more affordable now. How do fans get a ticket? Well, a lot of fans think they're getting a steal now because you can go to Chase Center up the road in San Francisco and get a ticket for under $200, which still is a lot, but it's nothing compared to the 700 plus tickets people were paying Saturday night for game one. That was breaking records for the most expensive playoff game in NBA history. So you're saving a buck. And if you want to plan for our next game in Sacramento next Wednesday, believe it or not, tickets right now are faring 262 for the cheapest seat, Bria. See, that really doesn't compare to game one when you were spending like that 700 just to no. stand up. And I saw courtside tickets last night on the other end of the spectrum, like 12,000, $12,000. So <laughs> maybe you find a cheaper one if you're heading out to the Chase Center, Bridget, thank you.